Hello, this is Paul from First Attack. In this video, let's prove theorem 3.1.1, the basic properties of vector operations. Uh, we have eight properties of the basic operation of addition and the scalar multiplication in Euclidean backspace R. And um, this theorem is the foundation for the whole chapter four. It is a vector space. We will generalize the idea into a abstract uh, or general vector space in chapter four later. Okay, now see how to prove this property. Uh, and this property is super easy to prove. It's it's directly or straight straightforward. So. I will only prove the first two A and B and I'll leave other for you. Okay. And the first look at it. The D is four. It's just for addition, right? So this is for the operation of addition. This is for addition. And uh, we we'll get the D is four. It's talking about the scalar multiplication, right? The scalar multiplication. Um, let's look at it. So, how to name each property? The first, of course, we are very familiar is a uh, commutative. So, the first we call commutative. Second is associated for right of addition. We learned this okay, type of name a long time ago. Associated. And the third uh, is uh, identity. So zero is the identity of addition. So we say identity of uh, addition. Uh, negative u is we call it inverse, so this is existence. Existence of uh, negative or inverse. Uh, e is distributed, right? So this is a distributed, and they both of them uh, are called distributed. And then uh, G, we do have a two type of operation. One is the scalar field that with the scalar number or real number multiplication we learned. Another is the scalar multiplication. And they see associated with their work. So we usually call it compatibility. 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 Between these two operations. So the last is the one is identity of scalar multiplication. I then did of scalar multiplication. Okay. Uh, let's prove A and B only. A is a commutative and B uh, is associated of addition. So let's prove. Uh, what is a commutative right? Commutative uh, is a u plus a v, and it says it equals a v plus a u. And we have the setup, of course. So is this true? Definitely. Okay. As a setup, so that a u. With this vector uh, u1, u2, 2un. 
this is the end and space okay and uh, v is uh, uh, v1 v2 to vn okay so, and then we can find uh, we work from the left to the right so then u plus the vector the v uh, by the definition for addition we just add all together right so one by one so u1 plus v1, u2 plus v2 goes to un plus vn. And then see, and the each term we can switch the order because that's a uh, commutative. Okay, so for scalar numbers, definitely. So we have v1 plus u1. Uh, V2 plus U2, Vn plus U, and then see this is what this is just a vector V plus vector U right by the definition. Okay, so this A commuted it works. And then let me show you one more associated. Associated verse as a U plus V. Associate it first and then plus W, or you can associate another. So it's a U plus associate V and W. No matter which way, go first. You always get the same. Um, U, V, we already set up. So let's set up a W. Let me say W is W1, W2, to W. And the UV is the same as the first. So we can work from the left to the right again. See, so uh, U plus, sorry, plus V plus W. Uh, what do we get? Let me put here. We will get uh, this big one. Okay. So we associate the UV first. Therefore, Whatever this is a vector, the first is a vector, we get a, a vector plus another vector, we still get a vector. Let me combine the two steps together. However, each term we should have this form. The first associated UV and then plus W. So, uh, here is a U1, the first term, plus a V1, and then plus W1. See, this should be the first coordinate or the first component. And then the second, uh, which is uh, U2 plus V2 plus W2, and then goes to the last. Okay, and then we can associate. Okay, so now think about it. I can associate uh, these two first. Okay, because these three numbers, scalar number, of course, I can associate. Uh, so I get a U1 plus V1 plus W1, see, and that's two right. And then the same for the second component, which is a V2 plus W2, and then V1 plus V2. Okay, so what it is, you can break it down uh, by two times, okay, twice. The first uh, you break it down, which is a uh, vector u, and the second break it down, which is the sum of vector v and the w by the definition. So this should be equals uh, vector u plus parentheses vector v plus vector w, and then this is the proof for a b. And the others just leave for you. That's all. Thank you.